Namaste, love and light, everyone. So, you guys, I want to talk about spiritual bullies, okay, and spiritual copycats, or not even just spiritual copycats, copycats, period, okay. And I want to talk about my experience with spiritual bullies and how my experience. Well, I hope that my experience can help you identify if you have a spiritual bully in your life, and with the copycats too, okay. So, let's just start with, like, the spiritual bully and, like, how do you know this person is a spiritual bully? Well, let's just say you are a part of, like, a spiritual group or organization, even, like, a church. Or this could even be a friend and y'all both share, like, the same, you know, spiritual interests, okay, right? And, you know, typically spiritual bullies, they already have knowledge and wisdom already you know, locked within them, okay, it's you that's finally discovering this power that they have, all right, and typically, they like to use that for their advantage, okay, so they'll like to, you know, seek out certain people that they feel is below them, or don't know as much as them, okay, so they can, you know, have some power or control over them, all right, so, like, one of my experiences, right, um, let's say I followed somebody on Instagram, all right, that was supposed to be a spiritual, um, leader, okay, or public figure or whatever, all right, and, um, you know, they followed me back, blah, 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 but, you know, a few months later, I realized that this person is a complete spiritual narcissist, you cannot, you know, move ahead of her, you cannot be above her, all right, you cannot have confidence. You got to tell her everything first. You got to, you know, make sure she knows what your next move is before you do it. It's almost like she got to approve, you know, your life and whatever spiritual experience, whatever spiritual experience you have. Now, that's what spiritual bullies do. They will bully you into believing that you have no confidence, believing that you have no power. You have no knowledge unless you listen to me, unless it comes from me, okay? You cannot even think for yourself. I have to think for you. And if you do think for yourself, you know, I'm going to bully you. I'm going to make fun of you, make you feel less than, you know, give you a lecture on how, you know, this is going to be too hard for you and you need my help. You need my assistance. You're not going to be anything without me, you know? And if you don't listen to me, I'm going to gossip about you with other people around me, Okay? I mean, guys, we all know gossip is a form of black magic, okay? Slander, lies, all that is black magic, because we all know words are swords, okay? And words is spells as well, okay? So, <clears throat> yeah, we got to be mindful of what we say and think, okay? But, um, yes, yeah, spiritual bullies, they want to control you. They're like equivalent to the spiritual narcissist, okay? But to see the spiritual narcissist, you know, they want to keep a hold on you. The spiritual bully does as well, but it's like after a while you can break you can break free from a spiritual bully. It's a lot easier to break free from a bully than a spiritual narcissist because a spiritual narcissist they don't see anything wrong in what they do. Okay? They feel like they are top tier spiritual and that you need to get to their level and you already passed their level, but they're so delusional in their mind. They don't see that other people around them is beyond them and that they are the ones that stuck at the same level. Okay, but let's go back to the spiritual bullies and the copycat. Let's let's talk about the copycat real quick because the copycat, you know, it's pretty um, easy to identify a copycat because the copycat is going to want to copycat every single thing you do. Every single thing you say, they, they copycat and mimic your style, your creative style. Anything that you do that makes you unique and authentic, they copy that. And then you find yourself having a hard time being true and authentic because you like, damn, somebody is stealing my energy. Damn, this person is copycatting me and mimicking my every move. You know, how do I be myself? Every time I try to be myself, they come in, you know, along to steal that and copy that. You know, and it's like, first thing you do is remove that person from your life if they are tied to you, like, you will connect it with you, all right, friend, family, lover. You got to get them out of your life. Block them out. Now, if you feel like they're doing witchcraft and black magic to actually steal and harness your energy, and I know that gets really hard sometimes, you guys, because they, they do binding spells to sit you down. Well, no, I'm sorry. They do binding spells to bind you to them, and then they will do spell work to restrict you so you won't break out of the binding, and then, and then they do shit to keep you entrapped in it so they can steal from you, and it'll be a lot easier. First of all, you got to do a That's a whole lot of work. 
I'm not about to do all that work just to steal from you. If I got to bind, restrict you, and, and do all this extra stuff, I don't have time. I'm just going to do me. But, um, you know, some people, they, they're that desperate, and they don't see how that's a waste of time. They, they see that's worth it. Like, okay, it's worth me sacrificing a little bit of my time and energy in order to have what you have because what you have is my grand finale. Okay, that is my, you know, my number one goal. Once I know that all that energy that I waste is going to make up once I get what's yours, once I fully embody and mimic your energy. Spiritual copycats, y'all, they do make me cry, okay, because it's like they make your life hard. Okay, and, and I don't want to claim that for y'all. And then y'all be like, yeah, they make my life hard. No, but they that's their mission. That's their goal. They make your life hard. And just know, spiritual narcs, spiritual um, bullies, copycats, or doppelgangers, okay, they are demons. They are demons, you guys. And these people are demons to confuse your mind and to, like, shut down your mind here. So you won't even, like I say, you won't even think for yourself. Okay, they thinking for you or, you know, they, they got you to the point where it's like you be, you behind them and you got to follow them. No, God don't want you to do that. God's grace it was, it was, would never allow a copycat to be ahead of you when they copied you to get to where they are. Okay, it's almost like they, I'm getting they eating the same food off of your plate. All right, as well, like this karmic, man, listen, you got karmics that they will eat the same food as you just so they can be like you, like. They will, if you read cards, they'll read the exact same cards as you. They will burn the same incense as you. I had karmics that burned the exact same incense as me because, you know, they was like, that will make me powerful. She burns it, so it will work for me. But like I said, the spiritual, well, the copycat, the spiritual copycat makes me cry. All right, because they will do anything to, to, to destroy you. Okay, and, and the nerve, the audacity of them to think that they can destroy you and then take your place, take your spot on the throne here, okay? They can't do that. Mm -mm, no, so when one way to protect yourself from a copycat, okay, is to protect your energy, all right? And you need to be protective, and you need to be serious, okay? You need to, like, set an intention for this copycat to never steal your energy. Anytime they do try to steal and mimic your energy, it does not work for them, okay? It falls apart. It backfires, okay? It back, they receive backlash. They, yeah, because they should not be copying you. They need to find their own identity, you guys. I actually dealt with a spiritual um copycat for many, half of my karmics were copycats. Half of them, and they felt like they can copy me because, you know, I have good energy, and, you know, it's like they can easily steal it, but it's like this energy that's good is accumulated from healing, my healing. I was not always, you know, in this, this love and light type of energy. You know, one thing about me is um, is that I always was up and down with my, my darkness, my depression, my sadness. So it's like it, it took me some time to actually get to a high vibration and being like good, jolly energy to the point where it's like people just want to, like, eat me up, literally, like, even dark karmics, okay, they'd be like, oh, I just want her energy. If, it, if if they was, like, in the spiritual realm and their true form as, you know, the soul sucker that they are, they will probably try to suck my soul. Dead ass, just because I'm that yummy to them, okay? But I'm not going to allow no narcissist or copycat to get me either. But um, I forgot the time on my laptop is, like, a little bit ahead in the one on my phone. But, you guys, I dealt with a lot of copycats, and they... They mimic everything, dude, and it's to the point where I dealt with a narcissist, I'm sorry, a copycat, she was a narc too. She copied me so damn bad, it's like, I had a hard time identifying my own damn self, because it's like, you still in my identity thinking that's what's going to change you in your life, and that's a childish way to think, alright? Because it's equivalent to you being a child thinking like, hey, I, if I'm Superman or Superwoman, I'm, you know, my... I'm, I'm this super badass person and, and, you know, I'm just the best. And it's like we know in reality that you can't be Superman or Superwoman. That's just, you know, inspiration. That's just to inspire you to, you know, I guess want to have, want to be brave like Superman or woman. Be confident like Superman or woman or be strong like Superman or woman. But you cannot be like Superman or woman. All right, if you want to be technical, Superman and woman have their own DNA components that's completely separate. All right, from themselves and everybody else. So you can't be like somebody. All right, but yeah, it was that bad for me where it's like, I know myself, but it's like how the way I, I thought of 
Y'all, that was a new one. It wasn't no fart. But how the way I would think of myself, I would pick up how they think of me. And then it's like I will feel all this weight being weighed down on me or how they think of me while they over here trying to steal my energy. Even my thought process. They was trying to, in my third eye, like they was doing a whole bunch of my crown. It was just a hot fucking mess. And when I look into the situation, I don't see the situation worked out for them. They, they became crazy and more confused, all right, and more like, you know, desperate for my energy. And, you know, one thing I realized with any karmic is that you don't feed into them. I, and they do shit to trigger you, all right? They do shit to make you mad. That's how you know you're dealing with a demon, when they purposely do shit to trigger you. Okay, when they purposely do shit to make you mad, and, and it's like it make you do things that, you know, you would never do. All right, it makes and it's like, you be like, damn, God, I didn't mean to do it, but they pissed me off. And God have grace, you be like, yeah, I understand, but, you know, you got to get balanced and, and, you know, look to that other side of you, the angel side, and choose grace, to choose to be great, choose to be the better person. Do not choose, you know, your ego. Don't choose your demons. Don't choose that inner devil. All right, choose your inner light you're in the compass your higher self and always just walk away ignore them let them talk shit they are obsessed with you they are delirious over you so they want you to talk so you can confirm what their delirious ass mind is saying or they want you to feed into their energy to tell people like see 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 i told you she like this i told you she like that even if other people don't see it all right because they see that this person is mainly crazy they will still drag the energy on they will still drag you you know down they don't fucking care and if they don't, if this person who they telling it to don't give a fuck, they're like, okay, you know what? I'm going to just move to the next person and I'm a lot to the next idiot. All right. That will believe me. All right. Typically spiritual bullies, narcs, or even copycats, they will seek others that are less than them outside of you and manipulate them. And them, those people will actually listen to them. All right. Cause they're demons just like them and they need to learn a lesson as well because they still got demonic attachments that they have not released. And most likely it's from, you know, we're going to get technical. It could be a past life thing, traumas, attachments, but you know, I'm seeing a connection where it's like, if the copycat goes to a dumbbell and that dumbbell, listen, just know that dumbbell got some karma and some, some karma she need to re reap. And she has some lessons she needs to learn too, because you know, if you can't see, past a person's lives and your intelligence is not allowing you to you know make sense of it all then you need to go through this this cycle to reap whatever you sown from a past life or even in the past this lifetime but y'all get that's a whole separate situation but past life is important with these copycats because they met us in a past life okay they've been trying to steal and mimic our energy since a past life what inspired them was that first time they saw us in the past life and they never forgot it on the soul level anytime we are about to get ready to in and incarnate here this mother freaking copycat make sure that she incarnates okay around your area so she can try to destroy you okay it's not all the time we meet certain karmics to you know clear karmic debt sometimes karmics they come back into our life this lifetime to you know get revenge literally and it's your free will to make your life like that you ain't supposed to but it's your free will to plan your life around revenge on a soul level that's and that's why you have people that be out here murdering all right, out here just going fucking crazy. You got those serial killers, right? Serial rapists. Ugh, I'm going to go there. But even serial gossipers, serial black magic practitioners, yeah, they they, they got they, they, they got some issues going on with them in the inside. They either want to get revenge, they hate the world, whatever. I'm sorry, I'm derailing. But I know it's hard to deal with a copycat because they do mimic your energy. And they want to be exactly like you. And then they'll... And if, you know, if they're crazy enough, they will do black magic. I had a karma that was doing black magic to get me to be exposed for being a copycat. And she ended up getting exposed for being a copycat. And then she was trying to hide it from people so they won't see it because she didn't want people to do black magic on her. And if she was just crazy. She needs to fucking go somewhere and take a vacation. Like, not everything is black magic. I went to a reader yesterday and he said that, like, not everything is black magic. Sometimes you just need to take a fucking break from spirituality. Okay. <clears throat> go on a boat somewhere and just relax. Like, you don't need to be stressing all the time. He said, sometimes, you know, you just need to be a mom. Take a day and be a mom. And I said, you know, you're right. You're right. And I'm not about to allow this spiritual work to make me forget my 
heaven on earth, the pleasures of, of Mother Gaia. This this life is a gift for me. I don't feel like this is a curse. I don't feel like incarnating here was a curse and we came here, you know, to defeat the reps only and we only we, we just deal with the matrix and programming. Like, no, I feel like that's a part of life now because of the shit that was integrated from, you know, past from the past. But I feel like life on earth is a gift. It's a present from God. Okay, universe and you know, the star beings that also help, you know, make us intelligent, okay, that gave them gave us some of their DNA, all right, and help awaken us, okay, help civilize the people. All right, even if it was like back in Lemuria days, Atlantis days. All right. I'm just grateful overall. I would hate to like take advantage of my life by trying to steal someone else's life or trying to spiritually bully someone by, you know, Breaking them down. And you see, one thing about spiritual bullies, they don't see that they are bullying. They don't see that they're bullying. And it's like, of course, they're not going to see it. But if they actually look within themselves, they will see like they push, you know, whatever their narrative, whatever their narrative is or whatever their idea, whatever it is. They, they push that energy on you. They force it on you. And the moment that you don't want to listen to them, they will run the black magic, y'all, if they are tapped into that. All right, I told you I had a karmic that did that shit. The moment I was living for me and I was breaking free whatever from whatever chain she thought she had over me, she was doing a lot of black magic, and none of it is working. And, you know, like it's been like over a year now, and, you know, the energy gotten stronger, but so have I. So have I. I'm not going to be taken down, but it's like it does break my heart that this person that could be someone that is great wants to steal my identity just because they don't like me all right and they and they see my greatness so they feel like they can take it and they want to teach me a lesson like how are you teaching me a lesson by me seeing that you're walking around with my life are do you not know what you're asking for you're, you're asking you know for karma to come you did like and then and, and this person thought they was gonna walk around and like get away with it and then have no karma like that's just an illusion even divine beings receive karma if they are fucking up Divine beings could no longer be divine. They can devolve, all right? You can lose your your chosen status, your chosen title. You can lose your um ranking. Yes, your ranking can get lower, okay? Yes, you guys, you have to be mindful and aware of what you're doing to yourself and people on this planet. The first law, universal law, is the, the universal law of oneness, right? Okay, so we have to identify that we are all connected in every action that you know, we do in every in 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 any thought we put out there, whatever we do, it, it affects everyone. Okay, so for this karmic to even believe that she was gonna walk around with my energy, okay, and not get karma and, and, and just get away with it is just insane because our actions affect everyone. It's like, okay, you wanna steal my life, but you know, your bad mind and your bad intention is gonna jump on someone around you and then you're gonna go through that exact same thing with someone trying to steal from you, okay, and you can't get it back and, and you're not gonna like how that feels. Okay, as above, so below. God is going to teach you a lesson regardless. Regardless. What you put that out there will come back. But, um... <sighs> Y'all don't really have to worry too much of the spiritual um, copycats and the bullies, though. If you get them out of your life, you take control of the situation and you get them out of your life. Okay, because understand this, they are going to get karma. They are going to get karma. They are. All right? Even if they don't see it, that's fine. That's fine if they don't see it. I allow them to not see it. That's good. That's good. All right, that they don't see it. God wants them to not see. All right, but understand these copycats, they are depressed. They are sad. They are soulless, heartless, cold, okay? And this is what makes them karmic. And this is what makes them, you know teach other people lessons about themselves because you know karmics they do that they i know i learned less about my karmics like well i learned more about me through my karmics like you know first of all i'm never ever ever going to not say no again i'm going to say no all right because i know when i give people my good energy they take advantage um i was reflecting today how you know not today i'm sorry yesterday of accountability and i'm like well my karmic refused to take accountability and i refuse to be like that so that's a lesson i learned is to always take accountability regardless if it makes me look bad or not because it's like when you don't you're just you just dragging it on just take accountability it's like you're making something small and in, into something big and you even have to go there you know you even have to get there all right and understand these these karmas these could even be false friends 
All right, yeah, false friends, you guys also are demons. Demons sent by the devil to destroy you. Y'all, I can't I cannot make this up the moment I decided to post on my IG um in 2020. All right, summertime. I kid you not. I ended up meeting my very first karmic who's attacking me to this very day. I could you not, you guys. I, and I and I realized yesterday, like, she's a real deal karmic. Like, she really came into my life to destroy me. And, I, and, and how the way she did it, how the energy played out, shows me, like, she was nothing but, you know, she was no, I'm sorry, she was um only in my life to destroy me. All right, there was nothing else she was meant to do but destroy me because she did nothing to help me, y'all. I'm not even being exaggerative. I'm not trying to make her look bad or anything. She really did not, okay, like, you know, like I said, the spiritual, you know, the spiritual bullies, they have knowledge and wisdom. So they will be, you know, they will probably teach you a little something, okay? They will probably, like, show you what they know a little bit, but they never going to let you fully in, all right? And it's like, that's what the case with me. It's like, okay, you know, you told me a little this, you showed me a little bit that, but it's like, that did not last, all right? That's why I, I can say, you know, like, she didn't even help me like how she was supposed to. She all she did was destroy me. The one is like the bad outweighed the good. Honestly, it doesn't even matter what good she did do because that was small compared to the, to the bad that she's done. All right, but these people are not happy because things is falling for them. Their three D is collapsing. All right, y'all, karmics three D lives. Their realities are collapsing. If you look around, you'll see why. This is why they're going through what they're going through because their three D world is collapsing. It was fake. It was made up. All right, I'm getting what's faking is made up of illusion here. Illusion that they put out there throughout the spell work or lies and manipulation, okay? I'm like I'm getting an example of like a woman putting love spells on her man just to get the life and love that she wants. That's fake. That's an illusion. This man does not feel that way about you. You made him feel that way. Your your feelings is in that man's body, not his own feelings. Your feelings towards him. You want him to be this way towards you. All right, even with um just plain manipulation and lies. Like, you know, someone lying on you to get you out the picture so they can be in the picture. That's an illusion. That's why these false realities are collapsing. These false 3D realities are collapsing. And it's like, you guys are remaining happy. This is what's happening. As this karmic 3D is collapsing, you are rising to happiness. Literally. I didn't mean to add a reading into this, but I just want to give y'all some encouragement. Like, when you deal with these type of spiritual narc bullies and copycats it does lead to a grand outcome for you guys is happiness if, if you don't give up because even like they want you to give up but even if, when you do give up they can't grab your energy they'll they'll just give up like you know what fuck it i don't care they'll just give up okay and that's the trick they're tricky copycats are tricks too they're just tricks to get you to give up here to make you feel like anyone can be like you Anyone can do this like you. That, Yeah, they mess with your mind. They play with mind games. Mind, all that mind games that they be playing, another form of black magic. All right, I had people do magic on my crown chakra, my throat chakra, my ear chakra, my throat. Like, they were just like, you ain't about to talk to spirit at all. And, and it was all jealousy. It's like, not only were they trying to block my chakras and my gifts, but then they were trying to copycat and mimic them. And I will always say, you can't block me and then try to be like me because all you're going to do is just receive my blockages, my current trial and tribulation right now, which is you, right? So you end up meeting somebody just like you, right? Karmic. And, or, you know, you my test. You get what I'm saying? You have to pass my test too. My test is, is made and drawn out specifically for me. You're not going to understand my test. So you're going to always fail. And this is what they don't get, you guys. You got so much karmics that would, like, find excuses and reasons, all right, to do, you know, well, to do what they do and, and to, like, they'll find reasons and excuses to do what they do. There we go. And to justify it. All right, some of them even whip, whip out the Bible. The Bible says here that da, da, da. But that's not what God means. God does not mean, okay, you can go ahead, like, spirit is being real. Y'all have karmics be doing this. But let me say it. Spirit don't mean you go out and try to harm an innocent child with black magic because you mad at them. God does not mean go ahead and gossip about that person on the phone with your friend because you don't like how they made you feel. No, God don't mean that. Okay, God don't mean that. God expects you to first handle the situation like a man or woman and 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 handle it righteously and maturely. 
Now, if it gets to a situation where you cannot control, then you give it to God. A lot of times, you know, we like to quote how God is in the Bible, but God ain't asking us to handle his battles. God tells us that he, you know, he's could be a jealous God or he can, you know, be wrathful, or whatever like that. He's telling us that to let us know I am like that. I can do that for you. I can teach this karmic lesson. Don't to waste your time. Don't waste your energy. You're not in that power or control right now, especially as a human, to teach anyone a damn lesson. Okay? Your lesson for them is the is the energy that they put out towards you that it comes back. That's going to be their lesson. All right? The energy that they put out towards you, all right? And it comes back to them and that energy manifests with you, breaking up with them, you leaving them, you seeing their true colors. That is the lesson for them. You... Hexing, cursing, trying to kill them, attack their kids. That's not teaching nobody a lesson. All that's doing is showing the world the real you and, and exposing yourself, right? Okay? And making yourself look bad. No one is going to respect you. Just like with Sh um, Shaquita friend. All right? No, Shaquilla. There we go. Sha oh, Shaquita. Shaquilla friend. All right, she thought killing, you know, or beating a girl up bad was cool, and they thought they was going to get away with, you know, murder in Mexico. And look, she ended up getting trashed by the whole entire fucking country, even probably certain parts of the world. Mexico ain't fucking with her. They probably went in to do something her in Mexico. Like, she made herself look bad. You know, she didn't make herself look cool. She did not prove any point. She made herself look jealous as well. Made herself look jealous of Shaquilla, all right? Shaquilla. All right, because, you know, Shaquilla had her own business, and... Hair, I think it was, um, she was braiding hair and she had a boutique. And, you know, she had bread. She was doing good for herself. All right, I don't know if she was going to school or not. But her friends, she just had the wrong friends around her. It's like, y'all also got to keep this in mind. Like I said, some of y'all, these this could be friends. That who you considered family. You know them since a child. But you got to understand, we evolve from our friends. All right, we evolve from that energy, okay? Like, if your friends are still stuck in that same low vibe, but you evolve, you got to let that friend go, all right? Because if you don't, you're going to activate that karmic cycle that y'all have, okay? Because I already see the karmic cycle. It's like you evolve and they not, they're stuck in some shit, all right? And nine times out of ten, they're a whole setup to bring you down. And that's what happened to with Shaquille and her friends. Her friends was a setup. She was probably supposed to bend, cut them off, and she probably did not. She wanted to keep, you know, her old friends around and keep that energy alive. And, look, they end up killing her. Her, her trying to keep the energy alive, they end up killing her ass. Okay? And, look, a lot of these karmics don't know that they're blocked. A lot of them don't know that they're blocked and cut out here. A lot of them don't even know that they're stuck at an obstacle right now. Okay? I'm getting a karmic does not know that her love is blocked and the love is moving on. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. These Some of these copycats could be woman that's tied with your man and she's trying to say that's her man you know what i'm saying like i'm seeing someone delusional bad shit crazy and they're trying to say they're not delusional i'm getting they need they need to talk tell the cops that that's what i'm getting all right but even the cops will see that they're delusional here it's like somebody wanted you to pass away over some type of man like somebody was like trying to poison you and kill you over a man you guys okay and this is what i'm talking about these spiritual copycats all right i bet you that bitch was copying you because she was like oh I got to be like you in order for this man to love me, like how he loves you, all right? Or she's so insecure, she's thinking he going to love her, I'm sorry, love you more than her, and that's probably not not even the case, okay? Um, but, yeah, and, and nine times out of ten, these copycats, they either be with our exes or they, or they be attachment of our new person. So if this is like an attachment of your new person, she's fucking delusional for her to even think that, you know, she has to be like you in order to take your man back and then he'll love her more. And if this is an ex, she's even more delusional because you don't even want the man. You don't want him. But she thinks, you know, just in case. Y'all, a lot of these these spiritual um copycats and bullies, narcs, they have big ass egos. Like, you can't knock me down. I am the best. I am tough. Duh, duh. And then it's like, in, in the moment you say something about them, something small like, oh, please, you're insecure. Oh, please, you don't scare me. Oh, please, you can't knock me down. All that deflates. All that deflates, and then they start getting all emotional. That's how you know they're weak. All right, a lot of spiritual bullies, narcs, and copycats like to put on this um, persona like they're strong. All right, you know, you can't knock them down, like I said. And, you know... Blah, blah, blah. But it's all a facade. It's not real, you guys. They are the type to fucking crying in, in, in their bed at night. Once you done said some shit they ain't like. Once you tell them how you feel. They thinking about it all day. Like, 
Yeah, they be demons. I, I like I see it. I see them. I thought I hope y'all can see it too. Like these people are possessed by demons. Like this is how demons act. A lot of y'all can say like I don't know how that feels. You know I don't know how that looks like. You know blah blah blah. And it's because you're not genetically made up like the same as them. Or you know, yeah, you're not genetically made up as them. You're not a fucking demon. <laughs> you're not a demon. Straight up and down. Okay and. You know, there's good and bad demons, whatever. We got some demons that's, that's here to help. We got some demons that's here to destroy. All right, but nonetheless, these people are demons, and y'all are not the same. Y'all are not cut from the same cloth. Y'all DNA is not the same. Obviously, your DNA is evolved, and theirs has not. All right, their DNA is still small compared to yours. They have so much DNA components, junk DNA, that they can just unlock, but they refuse because they want to stay stuck in that, that cycle of copycat, that cycle of bully bullying okay and that's why they don't grow you can't grow trying to be like somebody else you got to first find your own power and a lot of karma didn't admit that i don't know how to find my power i feel like it was stolen from me i feel like it was taken from me i don't feel like well god can take it but what i'm getting is like you have to find it for yourself and this is for the karmic or even if you guys feel like you know you feel like it's taken you need to you need to, and not even, like, find it. Don't even, or look for it. You know, allow it. And I wouldn't say allow it to come to you either. But it's like, you feel like someone taking it from you. No, they did not take it from you. Okay, you just need to, yeah, you need to find your power again. You need to just gain your power back. And sometimes we need to go into that, you know, hermit, you know, that, why am I getting, like, habitat? Maybe you guys need to go to, like, an all-natural habitat or something. I don't know. But, you know, you guys go out in nature or whatever like that and just, you know, ground and recultivate your energy. It, it, it takes time. It may take up to 10 days, a month, two months. But, you know, you got y'all got to understand, even though these karmics are low level, they have access to high-level spells, and the energy that they possess is enough for them to activate that spell and get it to, like, work at least a little bit, even though they won't have enough energy to do it ever again. But still, I, I that was my case scenario. I feel like that's a lot, of, and that's the same case scenario for a lot of you guys. Is that your karmics? Okay, they are. They have they're low level, but have access to high level spells, and that's what also get them caught up in um karma as well. Get you know trouble with God because it's like you don't. You're not even supposed to have access to this shit. Who gave you this information? And then that person who passed down that information to to that low level gets karma for, you know, giving out keys to someone who they deserve it, and then they end up losing their keys, you know, and that happens to a lot of spiritual narcs that are leaders, a lot of spiritual bullies that are leaders, they're passing their information, I'm hearing junk DNA again, wow, um, a lot of y'all gonna be unlocking your, your junk DNA, alright, is this video helping y'all unlock some, some of your DNA components, because I know sometimes when you have epiphanies, shocking revelations that give you DNA, um, awakenings, light cold awakenings, activations waking and activation the same damn thing all right but um damn i forgot what i was saying remember what i was saying yeah so a lot of these spiritual leaders narcissists and copycats they will pass that well not not copycats some of them could be spiritual leaders y'all y'all be careful some of these spiritual leaders are copycats and they created you know their life and their brand and their foundation from copying from someone else and they drain all their energy y'all yeah. but anyway um, a lot of them, they they um, lose their keys and they end up receiving karma for teaching someone the wrong thing, teaching them stuff that's out of order, okay? So you always want to make sure you do things in order. You want to follow tradition and, you know, follow your own tradition that spirit gave you. Like, spirit gave you permission to, um, you know, do it like this or do it like that. Hold on, I'm trying to wake up. Come on, baby, got to go to school. But, um... For the most part, yeah, a lot of these spiritual um, narcs that are like leaders, copycats of leaders, they receive karma as well for, you know, doing what they do. And that's why they end up in the situation that they're in. They're, their business is not booming. Their love life is stressful. Their financial life is stressful. Their fucking motherhood is stressful. Their mothers or even dads, they're, they're not happy in life because of their bad decisions. And by them not being able to see it, they don't believe that they're crazy or delusional. You know what I'm saying? It's like they're not gonna by them not by them not being able to see it or choosing to not see it, they're not gonna learn the lesson and they're not gonna see how they can grow from this. All right. It's like there's no growth. There's no growth without any lessons, without 
you know, seeing where you did wrong, taking accountability, you know, like, how can you be mature if you won't even take accountability for your actions? And a lot of those spiritual leaders, bullies, narcissists, they act just like that. They would not take account for what they've done. They won't. Okay, they will blame you. And a lot of the time, they do blame... Y'all, I should have, like, put this in, like, sections. All right, because they do blame you as well. Let me put that out there. They blame you for why their life sucks. When their plans don't work, they, they say it's your fault. And they know damn for well, in the back of their mind, they've been doing a whole bunch of shit to stop you from being successful or to block and stop your light. And the moment that didn't work, all right, now they want to say it's you. Now they want to say it's you. Because once, you know, like I said... Once it don't work, they send back in their mind like, oh, it's you. You're the reason why this. You're the reason why that. And it's, it's not, yo, you're just crazy. And let them believe that they're not crazy. Let them believe I never felt crazy before. I never was crazy. You always was crazy. You just didn't see it. It took for our blinding light to show you how crazy you fucking are. Okay? But, yeah. Love y'all. They are. All right? And, you know, they have to grow and evolve. Okay? And until they do that, you know... They will still be the same, but <clears throat> what do you do moving forward, okay, to release yourself from this type of dynamic? Let them go and protect your energy at all costs, even from the spiritual bullies, okay, because these spiritual bullies, you know, they know how to bring you down. All right, they even, they work by click in groups. They don't never work alone. They always got a fucking sidekick next to them. Sometimes they be having two sidekicks next to them that kisses their ass, that worship the feet. I mean, yeah, the ground that they walk on. There we go. Worship the ground they walk on. All right, and you can't tell them nothing about their spiritual leader that's a bully. Even if they bullying them, they're like, I don't care if I'm getting bullied. I don't care. You know, blah, blah, blah. It's just ridiculous. I dealt with people like that too. But I love y'all so much. Namaste.